what I'm going to do today is demonstrate how to use a switch to open a door. So you, you'll go up to a door and activate it. It'll say, this door is activated elsewhere, and then you'll have to flick a little switch to open it. So we're going to want to make our own unique door to begin with. So I'm going to make it, I think this is the one I usually use. Yep, there's my door. And we'll give it a unique ID, so my door. Okay, yes, and so now we're going to write a script. Script new. Give it a unique ID. My door script. Begin on activate. Show message. And this message that I put here, I copied it over because it was quite long and I couldn't bother typing it out, probably make a mistake. Generic door activated elsewhere message. And so that's the game, the message that already exists that the game uses to say this door is activated elsewhere. And so now we save that. We go to the door we just made and find the script we just wrote. Now we're going to go into the world somewhere. And again, I'm going to assume that you have somewhere you want to put this, but I'm just going to put it in Good Springs because I don't have anywhere. <coughs> <coughs> okay, now Good Springs is all loaded. I'm going to have it all. <coughs> Click and drag it into the world list. So here's the door. I'll put it up by these boxes here. There we go, it's on the ground now. Put it over our boxes. And now I'm going to go to the activator section of world objects. And I'm going to look up electric. And I'm going to choose this electrical switch. I mean, really, it could be any activator you want, but this is a switch, so. Electrical switch. And this is a generic thing. See, if there's no script attached to it, which is, if it does have a script attached to it, then you probably shouldn't use it or create a new form or something. So anyway, now I'm going to double click, make sure there's a persistent reference. I'm double click on the door, I'll do the same. So now in this menu we're going to go across like this, and we're going to go to activate parents here. I'm going to right click, new, and we're going to select it, reference in render window. Click the switch we just made, and this activation delay, if you set it at zero, the instant you hit the switch it will open. This is in seconds, so you can set it to whatever you want. 0 0.5 is, I think, the, a lot of vanilla doors use 0 0.5, so you can use that. Okay. And hit. Okay. And this blue arrow should appear when you've done it right. So now if you try and open the door normally, that nothing will happen. It'll show this door is activated elsewhere. But if you hit this little switch, the door will activate and swing open. And so, that's all it is, just a short tutorial today. Um, I hope that was useful, thank you for watching, and goodbye.